Hi, my name is Cindy Rang with the Fabric Patch in Ephrata, Washington, and I am just going to take a couple of minutes just to talk to you about easy mittens. My daughter and I have owned and operated a busy quilt shop in Washington State for over 20 years. We have a retreat center, an active YouTube channel, and a large pattern line featuring our creations. My two sons work on machines. One daughter-in-law is our videographer and the other is a long-arm quilter. We are a family that love each other, we laugh together, and every once in a while we get some work done. We have a crew that are saints for their efforts at keeping us on track. Thanks for joining us on our wild ride. This is super fast. It is three pattern pieces and that's it. So the pattern has all of the directions, how to put on a cuff, all of the different tips for what sort of fabrics you want to use, but there's three pieces that look like this. So all you're going to do is you trace those out and your first seam, you just put right sides together and sew that. That's what gives you the little thumb. You do one and then you do a reverse and then this is the other side and that's it and then you just decide whatever you want to for your cuff. Couldn't be easier. Looks like this. And then again, you can do anything you want to in terms of decorating them. You can do the whole thing out of flannel if you'd like to. You can, you can do it out of a sweater. This was a sweater that I found at the thrift store. I paid $2 for the sweater. You can see I've already I think I used the arm for a gnome hat, but um, you can find some fun sweaters and cut those up. You might have some wool. If you are using minky, minky is one of my favorite things to make uh, mittens out of, but one thing just to make it a little bit easier if you are sewing with minky is to get, either use a really lightweight fusible interfacing or something else is just gonna stabilize it for you just so that there isn't that slippage factor and the um, stretching factor and all you would do is when it comes time to trace your pattern just trace your pattern onto your stabilizer and just leave it inside the mittens it just adds that little extra layer or maybe you're going to choose something that will wash out so because your minky mittens it's nice not only for the minky it for the mitten part itself but also for the cuff you can also choose to line them if you'd like i have some that are just one layer and some that are multiple layers this particular one because it's wool right here is just one layer this one is two layers this one is a leftover sweater um, and a sweater cuff and then it actually has a layer of polar fleece in the inside and then you can also do small ones same thing you can tell that that's just out of a sweater also lined with polar fleece no cuff at all lots of options lots of ways to make it very personalized do multiple pairs for whoever is on your list three pieces Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.